Hey guys. <clears throat> oh, I'm headed up to John's here. I gotta, well, I'll tell you what, we originally had planned today. Me and the wife were gonna go out and uh, do some rabbit hunting and squirrel hunting. Because uh, right now is a great time for it. Everything's out and about. The weather's still warm, but one problem it's too warm it's foggy it's raining it's not a great day to go out and walk tromp through the woods so we had to abandon our plans and uh well most of them one initial plan that i was going to do was go and see if my rifle was still on or not so being that i met um you know I don't feel like going in the woods. <laughs> and with John's targets, I can see where I'm hitting. You know, whereas if I'm shooting at mine, I just miss and you don't see anything, you know. So at least this way I can see where my bullet is hitting and correct my, my sight on my rifle. You know, you guys know the, the whole spiel there. But yeah, I, she was all excited to go and then. We were supposed to get like four inches of snow, which would have been great because then we could have seen fresh tracks, you know, I had it all planned out. And we get this crap. We don't even get hardly an inch of snow on the ground. Just rain. Nasty rain. It's like 40 degrees out today. It's ridiculously warm. For, you know, January 8th, I think it is. Yeah. But. I don't know if this, this is not great news, but at least the temperature is going to be dropping significantly. I mean, I'm okay with the 10, 15, 20. I'm not okay with 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, degrees. And that's exactly what we have coming uh, next week. So, yeah. And then also, um, I went into my doctor and... Uh, they are going to give me another nerve block. This will be my third one in two months for my right shoulder, my left shoulder. And yeah. And hopefully this time they sedate me. Last time they wouldn't sedate me because I had a drink a half an hour before I went in. They're like, oh, you're going to asphyxiate. Uh, I'm like, I'm going to be freaking fine. Give me a goddamn shot, you know. Let me relax. Oh, no, you're going to die on a towel. Oh, shit. So I had to go through all those injections with no sedation, which sucked. Yeah, sucked. Um, so this time I'm going to be more prepared. I'm going in on Monday. I have to be there at 9 o'clock. And, um, you know, if I do drink, I'm not going to tell them I drink. That's for damn sure. It's one thing you guys should always know. If you, and probably most of you already do. If you drink before you go in for a procedure, lie. <laughs> yeah, okay. Got my gum, no I'm happy. Oh man, it is nasty. Nasty, nasty outside. Yeah, so Amanda's van is heating properly now. I don't understand it, but, well, actually, I do. I shouldn't have any freaking antifreeze in it. There you go. That was the answer. So I'm going to have to uh, cancel the shop. Because now, not only did her uh, heater work, but now her window rolled up. So she's as comfy as a kitty on a coach. I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just talking. Um, three weeks after my last nerve block, which is this Monday, and this upcoming Monday, I go in for where they burn the nerve out. And when I asked him, I'm like, do you literally burn the nerve out? And he starts laughing at me. He's like, no, no. I'm like, then why do you see that? He's like, because essentially it's like we're burning the nerve out chemically. Him, I asked him to explain and give him more details on it. And he's 
speaks, you know, he's a Chinese dude, he's got a really thick accent, so all I really heard was, you know, what I, I nothing really, <laughs> I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, what, uh-huh, I, I, whatever, I gave up, so, um, let's see what happens with that, I, hopefully, I get some relief, because I'll be 100% honest with you guys, right now, I'm hurting like a motherfucker. <laughs> just dealing with it. I took a pain pill, which is nothing. It's not a narcotic. I, I don't know what it's called. But there's another screwed up thing. I asked them. I'm like, you know, I, my wife, meaning Amanda, I told my doctor. I'm like, my wife was having really bad knee pain. And um, she was crying. And I said, so I gave her two of my pain pills. And the nurse looked at me like I had committed some sort of hor horrible crime, you know. And I'm like, she's like, don't ever do that again. And I'm like, why? And she's like, if you take more than one of these at a time, your heart could stop. It's like, thanks for telling me now, you know. I almost killed my soon-to-be wife, you know. And she's just like flat-out adamant about telling me, you know, she's like, don't take it with ibuprofen, you'll damage your kidneys, don't do this, don't do that, don't give it to anybody else, keep it to yourself, it is not a drug to be handed out, we gave it to you because you're in significant pain all the time, and it is for you and only for you, um, I'm like, nobody ever told me I couldn't take two pills at one time, and I've done that probably ten times now, and it's helped significantly. Was a cop. And uh, she's just like, you're lucky you're still breathing. She goes, you should, um, what happens, I guess, is it relaxes you so much that your heart stops or something. I don't know the details. Don't quote me on it. I'm just, you know, telling you guys what she told me. So, so that was a little scary. Just taking two. Alright, this is about 15 yards. So I shot three times and I got one dead center, one to the right, and one down the bottom. Try again. Oh, I think I'm all right. Yeah, I'm okay. I took out those targets up on the uh, swinging thing right there. All right, so I know you can't see it on camera, but aiming for a little red dot on the bullseye up here. <laughs> well, I got all around it, but I hit it, let's say, twice. That's pretty accurate for 20 yards. Let's see if I can hit this one at 10 with the pistol. I'd say that's okay at 10 yards. And it's only about an inch in diameter, if that. Nice. 
All right, well, that was boring. <laughs> I got the shots I needed, and um, rifle was pretty accurate, being uh, made in 1955. Some of those old nylon 66s. It's only in fair condition. I'd, it would be in perfect condition. Well, not perfect, but it would be in pretty good condition had I um, not drilled some holes in it for a uh, gun sling dumbass kid I never realized it would be worth money and all those guns go for like a thousand dollars the green ones go for like three thousand the black ones I think are about two grand anyway so yeah it's a good rifle very good rifle so I was shooting that I mean I'm, I'm accurate up to maybe 50 yards or more with that gun and pistol beautiful just accurate as hell Well, it looks like mom and dad's driveway does need a lot of plowing, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because it is slush. And then it's going to freeze. And it's going to get rough as hell. And be hard on the tires and everything else. So, got to do my part, I guess. Alright, guys. Well, I got some good news and I got some bad news. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't record anything. Uh, I got busy and sidetracked all at the same time. The good news is... I got a pheasant. The bad news is I didn't get more than one. I don't know why the hell what happened. Um, I was pulling the driveway and I looked, I, I caught some movement out of the left of you know, my perfume, my left side of my face here. And, and I saw it and I looked over and there was about eight um, pheasant hens in the pine trees in my mom's yard. I was like, are you freaking kidding me, you know? And I didn't have anything on me. I didn't have a gun. I didn't have nothing on me. So they were there the whole time that I was plowing. I was almost done. So I knew that they were used to the four wheeler. So I was like, all right, I'll go back. I'll get my gun. I'll drive back and I'll get right next to them and blow them away. Well, <laughs> I get the gun. I drive back. Everything worked out perfectly. And I'm using um, thinner ammo, CCI thinners. And I get up to where they are and they moved a little bit, maybe 15 feet away, more now. About, so all together they're about 25 yards away or less than that, 15 yards. So I was like, okay, cool, all right, you know, and I, boom, 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 you know, I shot like four times and I, I, I was gonna shoot one, two, three. I think there's a limit of five a day or something like that. And so I was going to shoot three of them. And that would be more than enough for now, you know. And so I shot once, boom, it fell. Shot twice, nothing. Shot three times, nothing. You know, and, I'm like, and they're, they're all still standing there, you know. They're all like, what, what is that? You know, why is this one sleeping? I don't know. And, and so I was like, okay. And so I adjusted and I aimed again and shot and they all flew away. I couldn't believe that. I, that was the last thing I expected to see. You know, I'm plowing the driveway. The last thing I expect to do is shoot a grouse or shoot a pheasant. That's like, wow. Well, that comes out pretty easy, huh? Up. You're like Jack with tape.
Nice. No, it looks like you hit the wing too. No, that's why. Okay, kind of figured. Yeah, jagged bone right there. Oh, come here! It's come here and look. Ezzy, I did. Come here. It's fine. <laughs> Freaking out. Calm down. It's okay. Come, come here. here, pumpkin. You need to see it sooner or later. You're gonna be killing stuff and eating it. See, it's just a heart. That's really tiny. Yeah, isn't that cool looking? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, gross, babe. All right, we got it all cleaned out now. I had a hard time with the uh, innards because there's a sharp uh, rib bone from apparently being shot. Right on. Yep. Cutting her. Oh, good little amount of meat there. I need a couple more of them with every meal. I think next time we'll try standing on the wings and doing it that way. If I can get a hold of one, another one. <laughs> 